Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you to do that cool uh, map reveal effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, I'm going to show you how to do this effect. You're going to need two things for it. You're going to need a screen record of Google Earth Pro. So basically, Google Earth Pro is going to zoom into the location that uh, you're going to try to reveal. And uh, we're going to use that as the base uh, for this effect. Then you're going to need some cloud. To do that, you're just going to go on Google and go with Cloud PNG and here select the cloud PNG uh, that you prefer. You right click on it and you're going to save image as. Make sure that here the format is PNG. Uh, you need to have the transparency basically um, and then you're just going to save it wherever you want. So just save it. I'm going to put the link of both this cloud and uh, the link to for Google Earth Pro uh, in the description. So just click in the link in the description to get those or you can just do all that on your own. So first off with Google Earth Pro, what we're going to do, we're going to select a location. For me, it's going to be the Eiffel Tower uh, in Paris. To do that, I'm going to go with Eiffel Tower uh, with 2F for Eiffel and here Eiffel Tower Paris. Let's click on it and search. So it's going to zoom into the location that we want to record. The problem is, as you can see, there is uh, the name of the location. We don't want that. We want to have something that is clean um, because it's going to look uh, better. So for that, we're just basically going to zoom out. Let's zoom out completely. And you can choose to stop here. Me, what I like to do usually is I like to zoom out like so we can have the reveal of the planet here. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I usually like that. Then we're going to do a screen record. To do that in Mac, uh, on Mac, it's Command Shift 5. And it's just open the window to do a screen record. You can do a screen record v with VLC or any other software uh, that you like to use. Then I'm just making basically my frame, uh, making sure that the planet is in the center of my frame. Uh, here we go. I'm pretty happy with that. And then we're going to just start to uh, screencast. And basically what you do then is instead of looking for Eiffel Tower Paris again, we're going to look uh, and click on history and here it's going to zoom in. So make sure that your mouse is not uh, in the middle of your computer. And right now, perfect. It's zooming in and you have your clip. So once you've uh, recorded your clip, you're just going to go back to DaVinci and bring it into timeline. So here I'm just going to drag and drop it into timeline. We're going to clean it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to remove the sound because I don't need that. Then we're going to basically zoom a little bit to get rid of those bar at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to select the clip, zoom a tiny bit on it. As you can see, it's already pretty good on its own. If you're happy with that, you can just completely use that alone. But there is something that I don't like is here. There is a small loading time um, right there. There is some loading time and it's everything is looking mushy and not really, really good. So I'm going to add some cloud there to hide that. And also they're going to make the whole clip more natural. We're going to also add some zoom um, blur. Um, that's basically motion blur and that's going to help also to hide um, those problems of definition when there is some loading happening in the clip. So to do that, we're going to need uh, to go over to Fusion. I'm going to right click uh, on the clip and we're going to create a new Fusion clip. Now that it's done, we can go over to Fusion. And here, as you can see, I have my clip media in one and then it's linked to the media out. In between, we're going to add the zoom blur node. To do that, I'm going to click on media in one and I'm going to hold shift and space to open my select tool window. And here I'm going to go with uh, zoom and bring that into in between my nodes. So I'm just going to add it. And here we have the zoom blur that is added. To give you a bit of context on how it works, we're gonna keyframe the center of exclusion later. But basically the zoom amount is controlling if that's a zoom out or a zoom in. If you go in that direction, that's a zoom in. If you go in that direction, that's a zoom out. So that's the first step. Now we're gonna bring uh, our clouds to hide this part. 
do so, let's just bring the cloud in. It's gonna be a second media. And then we're gonna link that to, to Zoom Blur. It's gonna create a merge node. And then basically in between, we're gonna add two nodes, a transform node and a brightness node. So I'm gonna select media in, shift space. That's gonna bring again or select tool window. Here I'm gonna go with transform. I'm gonna bring the transform node in between. Then I'm gonna do shift space again. I'm gonna bring brightness and we are ready to start working on it now. So first off, uh, I'm gonna scale it a little bit more. So it's uh, taking up more of the frame. Let's zoom in a little bit like that probably. I think it's good. We can still see a bit of the map without the cloud. It's covering a big chunk of it. And what we're gonna do is we need to identify the in and the out point. So we're gonna be the in point and we're gonna be the out point. Um, basically, what do we need to cover? And for the out point, I will say that maybe, so maybe around 170 is pretty good or 175 will be pretty good as an out point. And then where we want to hide, we want to start hiding maybe at uh, 125. So we're gonna start keyframing. Right now the transform, I'm gonna keyframe the size. I'm happy with that size. I'm gonna add a key. Then we're gonna click on brightness and contrast. We're gonna activate the alpha channel. And here we're gonna bring the gain down to zero. So it basically see that as an opacity slider. And that's pretty much what it does. So now that it's done, we're gonna go a couple frame after, let's say 10 frame, 135, and we're gonna bring uh, the gain back to one. So it's gonna be full opacity again. Perfect. And then let's continue a bit. I want it uh, maybe 150 to be still very solid. So we're gonna add a second keyframe where the opacity at the maximum. And then slowly from 150 to 175, I want the opacity to go down to zero. So I'm gonna slide that down to zero. So I've keyframed pretty much everything I needed for the opacity. Now we need to uh, add some more keyframe to the scale. So right here at the beginning, the clouds are a normal size. And what I want is basically as I zoom in the cloud, I want the cloud to start to um, scale up. So it looks like we're actually going through it. So to do that, here I choose 175. I'm gonna continue, continue, and I'm gonna basically max him out until 150 because it's where um, the clouds start to dissipate because the opacity here is starting. We have uh, added the keyframe to start to remove the clouds with the opacity slider. So at 150, I'm gonna finish my scaling up by making it bigger, 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 bigger. Here we go. And I pretty much most of it is done. If we play it, it's looking good. It's covering the area that we were talking about that we we're loading uh, earlier. So now that we finished to keyframe the scaling and the opacity for the cloud, we're gonna uh, keyframe the zoom blur. To do that, we're just gonna select where um, the movement is stopping. So here the movement is stopping around 185. So we're just gonna put center of exclusion to one, which basically, if you remember, that means that there is no effect going on. So let's do that. And here, we're just gonna select uh, 160, which is where we still add some movement. And we're gonna bring it to the max, I think it's better. Yeah, let's do center of exclusion to zero. And here, basically, it's just gonna slow down the effect when we're gonna arrive on the FL tour. Perfect. Now we got our effect. I'm just gonna do one last thing is I'm gonna want to smooth out all those animation by opening the spline editor. I'm gonna select everything. And then I'm gonna click on that, which is basically gonna recenter uh, all the key point. I'm gonna select all those keyframe point and then I'm gonna hit S. And what it does essentially is just smoothing out all the animation and that's pretty much it. And here you go, that's how you create that uh, map reveal 
effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Um, it's very easy to do. I hope that my explanation weren't too confusing. Once you understand how it works, uh, it literally takes less than five minutes to do. In my opinion, that's the fastest way to do that kind of effect. Um, this one is uh, simply a location reveal. But if you would like to see another video on how to do a zoom out and then a zoom in between two locations, basically a transition, uh, let me know in the comment. I'll be happy to do a tutorial on that. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.